In this video, we are going to be ranking the top 10 Jewish stereotypes. Some of these are true. Ones later in the video, probably not true. Number one spot probably is. So join along with me and let's answer the question, are these stereotypes true? Let's find out. Starting off at our number 10 spot, that all Jews our lawyers look at this guy right here first of all the nose is already starting to match the stereotype but we're going to talk about that one later but no i don't think every single jew are lawyers it happens to be that my father's a lawyer my uncle's a lawyer my other uncle's a lawyer and my brother's in law school but that does it's not true i believe in the religious community it's more common because we could take our credits from like our religious classes and we could transfer them over in order to get into law school but also like it's a good job and if you're smart enough like like why not do it and at this point it's like so many people have done it like like why not do it myself it, it does well why not do it so while a lot of jews are lawyers i can't say that all of them are sadly i'm sorry that's a common stereotype but what's a more common stereotype Here's our number nine spot. That all Jews are cheap and we're all stingy. We don't give any money. Look, look at this empty wallet. Looks so sad. No money to be given. This guy's holding pennies adds to the stereotype more. It would be better if it was shekels. But this is a unique one because like, what exactly do you say? Because people like saving their money, therefore they're cheap. I, I, I think everyone saves their money. Like what caused this stereotype? Like, oh, we don't give charity or something? I mean, 10% of all of our money has to go to charity. That's a part of the religion. I do that too. But Jew boy, don't you guys write that off as tax? Well, how about you give? some charity, huh? You know, if you look at the signs at these colleges or like at these art museums, there's a good chance that one of them says sponsored by Chaim Finkelstein. But then once we give to the college, it's like, oh, you guys, now you're all rich. You're like, what can a man do? But we'll talk about the rich stuff later. First, we have to get to the number eight spot, which is the fact that Jews are lizard people and that there's a shadow government. We're running the government, running the world. We control everything. And you know what? This one might be true. My, my skin hasn't began shedding yet, although I'm hoping that it might happen. Maybe I have to finish my rabbi degree first and then I I could finally turn into a snake. That would be cool. And people will say, oh, look at these top people. Like, the head of YouTube, she has Jewish roots. You know, Mark Zuckerberg, he's Jewish. Then they're like, okay, what about uh, Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk? And then they're like, oh, um, no, they still run everything. And I'm like, okay, well, what can I do? I'll tell you this. These secret meetings, I'm not invited to. Yo, yo, secret shadow Jews out there, let me in because I, I don't have any of this. So sadly, I, I cannot say that this is a true stereotype. But one that might be true and that we're going to discuss right now is that all Jews are bankers. We have this amazing, ma <laughs> amazing image of uh, the goblin from Gringotts. And actually, I went to Harry Potter World recently with my family. And when we entered Gringotts, my father and I just kept on making jokes about how all the goblins are Jews. Nah, nah, he definitely Jewish. <laughs> Exactly. Looks just like me. Not exactly helping my own people, but I thought it was funny. But no, this actually stems from the Middle Ages. I believe it was in Spain. Jews were denied of their rights and citizenship. Because of that, we couldn't work normal jobs. And during the Spanish Inquisition, when the church was running everything, Christians weren't allowed to accept interest and loans from other Christians, so they used Jews to do those transactions. That was the one thing they let us do. And it sort of, like, forced the stereotype into existence. Like, like it was the only job we are allowed to have. That, plus the fact that there's Mayor Rothschild, the founder of modern day baking who happened to be Jewish, but then all of his kids and descendants intermarried and now they're all Christian. So Jews just keep on taking L's, but they say because he started it, like all the banks are not owned by Jews. Well, I don't have a bank, so freaking if it's true, give me one. I want one right now. We're not even in our top three yet and we're already giving history lessons, but first we have to get to the number six spot on this list. And this one's a very common one that all Jews have horns. Oh my God. This got popularized from this statue right here by Michelangelo. Yeah, you heard that right. It depicts Moses with horns on his head and that eventually evolved to the fact that all Jews have horns on their head and that actually our yarmulkes are covering it up along with our bald spots. Sadly, I do not have horns, although that's probably what I'm supposed to tell you. You're probably like, how did Michelangelo think of that? Well, it actually comes from this verse over here. The word Karen over here would mean horn that Moses had horns, but in reality, it's read here as Quran, which comes from the word Quranim, which essentially means that there were rays of light shining off his face and it was essentially saying, behold, Moses had rays of light coming out of his face because he was extremely holy and everyone was scared to approach it. That is at least how the commentary described it, but maybe we do have horns and I'm just missing out. I don't know. We are now entering our top five stereotypes. So for our number five spot, we have the fact that all Jews can shapeshift. That's right, we have secret powers. Our skin can form itself into any being that we want to turn into. And it mainly comes from this clip of Borat right over here where he's bribing the Jews that transformed into beetles. There they are, he's bribing them. 
Oh, give them some more. Gotta love Sasha Baron Cohen, who is also Jewish. Gotta love it. And the stereotype also derives from me. You can see me in the search image over here. What the hell? Was Borat lying when he said that Jews can shapeshift? No, he wasn't. For instance, I could transform into a 20 pound dumbbell whenever I scream. This here, is true. Let me show you. Okay. I wonder what I'm gonna do. Was uh, an all <laughs> an all-time Jew boy classic. Good to know that I'm the cause of one of these stereotypes. But you want to know something that I did not cause and has no correlation with me? Jews have small pee pee. Now listen, I don't know where people could get their stereotype from. And honestly, listen, Jews, we have this thing called the mikvah, which is this shower house that we go into to purify ourselves. And it's a public shower house, and you have to go in naked. And you know, you know I'm just gonna stop talking. But I don't know who thought of this stereotype. Like, you need a guy with a checklist. You know, he lines up a hundred Jews and and he makes them pull down their pants and he checks it off. Like, you know, you know, go to this side. Oh, shoot, that's the Holocaust reference. Or maybe it's from the fact that we're all circumcised and therefore, it, you know, it's sort of a given, a guaranteed. But I think everyone's circumcised nowadays, so the BS, wrong's not true. Probably like, Jew boy, are any of these gonna be true? Hold on, the time is coming, you'll have what you want. We are now entering our top three stereotypes. You know we had to include this one, it's sort of related to the other ones, but also not. That all Jews are good at business. Look at that handshake. Professional businessmen, they know what to do. They know how to send you a bad contract. Hey, Kanye, call me. And this is also included with the all Jews are rich stereotype. The simple answer is no, sadly. I'm sorry. I know more poor Jews than I know rich Jews. Sad fact, but it's true. I believe it has to do with the fact that a lot of the top billionaires in the world happen to be Jewish. I'm like, what do I say to that? Like, like, thank you? I think when people assume that it's more of a compliment, I don't know why people take it too offensively. I guess the problem is that people could assume that there must be a, a deeper meaning. The answer is no, there's no deeper meaning. It's not like we're gatekeeping information. Like, like anyone could do this. I don't know. The fact that a lot of Jews happen to be rich, I, I don't think it should be like, there's something we don't know. I, I think it's just, you know, there's something you need to learn. Me personally, I'm not rich. Majority of the Jews I know are actually poor. It's just that the few percentage of Jews are rich are usually like freaking rich. And, and what can I say? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. If there's some dude out there just giving out the billions, like call me up, please. I'm waiting. Now for our number two spot, we have one. That's gotta be true. Come on, this cannot be true. For the number two spot, space lasers. All Jews have codes to a space laser that can shoot lasers at any point at the earth. We just gotta pinpoint the location. And we can thank Marjorie Taylor Greene for finally shoving out the truth. This is why the California wildfire started. Listen, it had to be done. Like, like California is not too big of a loss, you know? Like, we, let's just get rid of that state. And I'm from Ohio. You know, like, even Ohio wants California out of this place. Oh, I wish it were true. Come on, it'd be so cool if we actually had this capability, but sadly, it's not. It's not true. Oh no, oh crazy. What's this? Oh? Oh, we got an honorable mention! This one wasn't too crazy and political, but I, I thought I had to include it in the list because people keep on asking me, so I thought, you know what, let's answer it right here. It's the fact that all Jews know Hebrew, or they're all from Israel, or they're all from Brooklyn, I don't freaking know. Now, here's the case for majority of religious Jews. Majority of religious Jews, we know how to read Hebrew. We can pretty much translate the scriptures, but majority of us cannot speak modern day Hebrew. You, you, you cannot speak to me in Hebrew. If you type something in the comment section in Hebrew, I, I'm not gonna reply to it. Like, there's a 30% chance I'll know what it's saying. Also, the fact that we're all from Israel, that's not true. I do have family there, but what Jew doesn't have family there? It's not true, though. I've actually never been there. I plan on doing birthright eventually, but I've, I've never been there. There, so sorry for all those really Jews out there. You're not seeing me anytime soon. Suck it We are now finally at our number one Jewish stereotype. We've run the government. We've run the money We could shapeshift what could possibly be number one majority of y'all probably are gonna get it Majority of y'all probably won't for our number one spot Jews have big noses. This one is probably the most correct one You know, this is a bit of a controversial image over here, but you know what? A lot of Jews do have big noses. I wish there was like a pie chart that could split this up, you know, so we could have actual evidence. But it's a culture thing, you know, it's, it's mainly Ashkenazi Jews because those people, they happen to have bigger noses and then they had 20 freaking kids and they had big noses, etc., etc. It's not religiously oriented, it's more ethnically oriented. Some people in some parts of the world happen to have bigger noses. I believe a lot of Sephardic Jews probably don't have as big of noses. Maybe I'm wrong, I have no clue. My schnoz, I think I have an average schnoz. What do you guys think of my schnoz? You know what, how about you guys come over to me live and we could talk about my schnoz and you can ask whatever the hell you want to ask me so click the top link in the description i have a twitch channel there i'm gonna start going live and i want to see you guys there i think it'll be lots of fun smash like subscribe notifications goodbye